Hey guys, welcome to the 119th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw shapes. So for this tutorial, all you're going to need is a panel. And once you have that on your form, just um, select your panel, go over to the events, and scroll down until you see click. And then just double click on that to create a new event handler for the click event. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is create a new brush fill our shape with. So we're going to create a new solid brush. I'll just call it SB for solid brush and set it equal to a new solid brush. And inside of here it calls for a color. And it says a color structure that represents the color of this brush. So if we were to um, set this color to be red, well later on we're going to fill a circle with this brush. So if we wanted it to be red, the circle would be red, then we'll put color dot red inside of here. But you can make it obviously any color that you would like. When we went over the color class we saw that there were several colors that we can pick from. So I'll, I guess I'll pick green and then once you have your color selected just close it off. So now in order to create a new shape we're going to have to create a new graphics. So we're going to say graphics g equals and then we're going to say panel one dot create graphics. And this will just allow us to paint on this uh, panel surface. And in order to actually create a um, shape, we're going to say G dot fill, and then you see there are many different shapes that we have to choose from. So if we wanted to fill um, a pie or a polygon or a rectangle or something like that, then we could. But the first thing that we're just going to fill is a rectangle. So first thing that it calls for is a brush, so we're just going to use our solid brush up here, SV. And the next thing that it calls for is basically the positions that where we want it to um, create this uh, rectangle. And we're going to want it, and we're going to want it to create it at the 20 on the x-axis, so we're just going to put 20 right here, and 20 on the y-axis as well, so we're going to put 20 as well. And just so you know, 0, 0 is up in this corner right here, not this bottom corner. Alright, so 20, 20, and then we're going to set the size of our rectangle now. I'm going to make it 50 by 50. Now, if you wanted to make it like a rectangle and not a square, then you just mess with these values right here. But let's just go ahead and see what this does for right now. So when we click, we should see a rectangle that is 50 pixels by 50 pixels and 20 um, right off this corner right here. Yep, there's a green square and just like that. So if we wanted to make it be a rectangle, we would just mess with these values. So if we wanted to make it like longer on the horizontal, we would just screw with the X. So if we wanted to make it 60 this way, then it would be 60 across and 50 down. Yep, longer that way. We can make it bigger yet if we want to make it like 100 or something. Yep, bigger yet, okay. And we're not only limited to rectangles. For example, if we wanted to create, let's say, an ellipse. So we're first just going to have to pass through our brush, solid brush that we created. And again, now we just have to pick the points. So I guess we'll change this to 50 and then 50. And we're going to make the width, um, I guess, 50 as well. Everything will be 50, so it'll be um, 50 pixels across and 50 pixels down away from this corner right here and it will be 50 by 50 the actual shape so we should see a circle here yep there's a circle and again if we wanted to make it like an oval or something we would just mess with these values so if we wanted to make it like vertically longer than it is horizontal or across then we just mess with this value since this is the y and this is the x so we'll make it like really long we'll make it 100 Yep, and now it's very long. So that's it for this tutorial. So see you guys.